Assalamu alaikum to my brothers and sisters in the truth. Today we will be talking about the great exodus and how we are reliving the great exodus. Now I will be in Exodus chapter one and I want to start at verse six. And Joseph died and all his brethren and all that generation. And the children of Israel were fruitful and increased abundantly and multiplied and waxed exceeding mighty and the land was filled with them. Now, I teach type and shadow and many other Bible teachers teach type and shadow as well. I disagree with a lot of their breakdowns, but I do teach type and shadow. Now, Joseph is not only a type and shadow of Jesus, but he is a type and shadow of the prophet Muhammad because God used the prophet Muhammad to save not only his people, but the world. Peace and blessings be upon them both. Now, Joseph died. The prophet Muhammad, he died. All right. Peace be upon him. And the children of Israel were fruitful. Now, I also teach that the children of Israel were supplanted. The children of Israel lost the kingdom. And according to the Gospels in Matthew 21, 43, according to Ezekiel 21, 25 through 27, according to Genesis 49 and 10, according to 2 Ezra chapter 2 and chapter 1, the kingdom has been taken from Israel and given to his new people, given to his chosen people. And that nation can only be the nation of Islam. Joseph died. Now I want to keep going. They were fruitful. Speaking of the children of Israel, but metaphorically speaking of the children of Ishmael and the nation of Islam, because in Matthew 21, 43, it says the kingdom will be taken from Israel and given to a Gentile heathen fruitful nation. In Genesis 17, 20, Ishmael was promised to be fruitful from the beginning. And according to religion and bearing fruit, Islam is the most fruitful religion coming from the most fruitful prophet. This is the Gentile messenger, the mule, Samuel, the mule, the donkey, the Gentile messenger, the Solomon, the David, all of these are the types and shadow of him. So now we have the children of Ishmael fruitful today. Islam is the fastest growing religion on the planet. Verse 8. Now there arose up a new king over Egypt, which knew not Joseph. Now this is twofold. This new king that is over Egypt is speaking of the nation of Israel today, headed by Netanyahu. He does not know Jesus as his Messiah, and he does not respect what the prophet, peace be upon them both, has done. And how he's given us the religion, the ancient religion of Abraham, because Abraham was not a Jew. Abraham was not a Christian. He was one that believed in only one God. He was considered a Muslim. So in verse 8, we have a new king who does not accept Jesus as his Messiah. And he does not respect what the prophet has done for the world. And verse 9, and he said unto his people, behold, the people of the children of Israel are more and mightier than we. And that is true. The nation of Ishmael is larger, greater, and more powerful than the Beni Israel of today. And when I say the Beni Israel of today is because it's been proven that the Israelites of yesterday, of yesteryear, 
left Jerusalem black, but has come back white. Now, many people also agree that the Jews of today, the Israelis, are not the original children of Israel. And that was said by the president of Egypt in 1958, President Nassar. He said that the Jews will never have peace because they left black and they came back white. So now we see Israel does not know Jesus as their Messiah. But for some reason, America, a Christian nation, is helping a nation who does not receive Jesus as their Messiah kill a nation of people who do receive Jesus as their Messiah. Now, that is America helping Israel, who doesn't know Jesus as their Messiah, kill a nation of people, the Palestinians, who do know Jesus as their Messiah. They want all of the Palestinians gone, and the truth of the matter is they despise us, they despise our religion. And I want to keep going. Verse 9, And he said unto his people, Behold, the people of the children of Israel are more and mightier than we. Come on, let us deal wisely with them, lest they multiply. And it come to pass that when they fall out any war, they join also unto our enemies and fight against us. And so get them up out of the land. So here we have Saudi Arabia. We have Turkey. We have Egypt. We have all of the Muslim surrounding countries of the Palestinians today. They want to wipe out the Palestinians so that the Palestinians don't join with the rest of Israel's of today's enemies and wipe them out. Now. What is going on with America? America is a huge hippo. Here we have a person who does not even receive Jesus as their Messiah. And we are helping them. We have helped the Israelis kill over 30,000 Palestinians. 25,000 of the ones that were killed were children with the women shame on us shame on us and we know the main connection in between america and the israel of today is that they are both of european stock they are both all from the nation of edom now i want to keep going verse 11. Therefore did they set over them taskmasters to afflict them with their burdens, and they built for Pharaoh treasure cities, Python and Ramesses. But the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied and grew. Now, the more Israel attacks the Palestinians, the more support the Palestinians is receiving from the world. When you oppress the Palestinian. All you're doing is growing the religion of Islam. Now, we as black people, we thought that nation was us. Many of our fellow black brothers are in these Israelite camps running around thinking they God's chosen people, when all in actuality the kingdom has been taken from the real Beni Israel and given to the nation of Ishmael, and that religion is Islam. So, Many of us, we thought the kingdom was ours. We thought that we was God's chosen people. And we are God's chosen people if we are in the religion of Islam. Because Ishmael now is chosen. Ishmael was once rejected. Ishmael was once refused. But now Israel has been rejected. As the word says, God has rejected all the seed of Israel, both the northern and the southern kingdom of Israel. He's rejected them both, both Judah and Ephraim. And now, according to Isaiah 54, God has now gathered 
Ishmael. He has now regathered Hagar. And now Israel has been rejected. And now Ishmael has now been accepted in the beloved. So the more you persecute, the more you destroy, the more you oppress the real Jew, if I might say, without offending anyone, the real Israel, the one who is really after God's heart. The children of Ishmael is really the nation of people whom God is pleased with, not Israel, not Israel. Ishmael is the real Israel. And the more you oppress that nation of people, the more you are growing the religion of Islam. So let's keep going. Exodus chapter 1 verse 13. And the Egyptians made the children of Israel serve with rigor. Now that is going into the Israelis making the Ishmaelites serve with rigor. Now let's see how they are doing this. Exodus 1 14. And they made their lives bitter with hard bondage in mortar and brick. Now let's focus on that. They made their lives bitter with hard bondage and mortar and brick. Think about it. I'm going to show you a clip. Now you see how they made their lives bitter. Speaking of the children of Ishmael, the real Israel by digging their loved ones from in between the piles of rubble. The children of Ishmael is digging their loved ones from between the cracks and the crevices of the rock. Exodus chapter 2. And there went a man of the house of Levi and took to wife a daughter of Levi. And the woman conceived and bare a son. And when she saw him that he was goodly, she hid him three months. He was a goodly child. And when she could no longer hide him, she took for him an ark of bulrushes and daubed it with slime and with pitch and put the child therein. And she laid it in the flags by the river's brink. Now, this right here is speaking of, I believe, notice I said, I believe. I believe this is speaking of the Mahdi. I believe this is speaking of the man of justice who's going to come in the hour of 
the return of Christ when he destroys the cross. Now let's do a recap on what we've been going over. Here we have the real children of Israel, which is Ishmael, being oppressed. And we see that they are made to serve in the brick in the mortar. Why? Because there arose a king that did not know Jesus as his Messiah, and he did not respect what the messenger, peace be upon him, has done for the world. And so now this king is making the children of Ishmael serve in the brick and the mortar that is going into them destroying the Palestinians and the Palestinians digging their loved ones, their babies, their precious babies from between the rocks. Think about it. We are reliving the great exodus. Now, this new king, he was killing off the Hebrew boys. He was killing off the Hebrew babies, per se. And that's exactly what the Israelis are doing today. They are destroying the babies of the Palestinians. So now Moses is coming on the scene. And Moses is a type and shadow of the Mahdi getting ready to come. Who will be of the prophet's stock? Peace be upon him. So now, if you put all this together, you'll see that the children of Israel or the Palestinians are crying out to God right now. They are crying out to God. And I want to go to verse 24. And God heard their groaning. And God remembered his covenant with Abraham, with Isaac, and with Jacob. And God looked upon the children of Israel, or Ishmael, and had respect unto them. So, if you pay attention to Exodus chapter 2 and Exodus chapter 3, you can see that we are presently living in that time frame spiritually. And the cries are reaching the Most High's ears. And he is going to set his people free. Because the Palestinians are the real Israelites. Israel has been supplanted. They have been supplanted by the nation of Ishmael. And that religion is Islam. We're reliving the Exodus right before your eyes. Open up your eyes. America has blood on their hands. We've been helping killing God's chosen people. That's what we've been doing. And the king of Egypt, and this is speaking of the Israelis king, and this is also speaking of the religion of Paul, which is Christianity. Christianity is going to come tumbling down. Right now, it is being destroyed more and more every day. People are opening up their eyes and they are rejecting the teachings of Paul. People are waking up. The house of David, which is Islam, is getting stronger and stronger by the day. And the religion of Paul, which is the house of Saul, get it, Saul, Christianity, is getting weaker by the day. And we are in that time frame spiritually when God is about to rescue his real chosen people. Every time you oppress one Palestinian, you are growing the support of. Every time you oppress the Palestinian, all you're doing is growing the religion of Islam. And every time they hurt the Palestinians, all the world is coming to support them. Okay, so there you have it. I just went through the great exodus and I don't have time to go over all my teachings. It's on my channel and I teach all the time about the kingdom being taken from Israel and given to Ishmael. Those who follow along, those who have studied, you can see this. You can look and say, wow, the truth is right before my eyes and I can't ignore it. We are reliving the days of Exodus and God is going to come 
and rescue his real chosen people, and that is the people of Palestine. Palestine will be free, okay, according to Scripture. According to Scripture, you have been killing off the nation of the prophet. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, thou which kill the prophets. Think about that. That is not just talking about yesterday. That is talking about the Israel of today killing the relatives of the true prophet, the prophet Muhammad. Peace and blessings be upon him. Exodus chapter 3 and verse 9. Now therefore behold the cry of the children of Israel is come unto me. And I have also seen the oppression wherewith the Egyptians oppressed them. God sees the oppression. God sees his real chosen people being oppressed. We are reliving the great exodus. And I truly believe that God is going to come and deliver his people. Shalom and assalamu alaikum to my brothers and sisters in the real truth.